Hello guys, what's up? This is Tanim from Anything in DDC. Today I will talk about C input, how to take a input from user, and we will also discuss about format specifiers and data types. So why making late? Let's start. Before starting, please smash the subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon. So data types are which type of data a number or digit is? Is it a whole number or is it a fractional number? What is it an only an alphabet? Data types in indicates what type of data it is. So there are only three data types in entire C programming. They are integer, float, and character. Integer are whole numbers, float are fractional numbers, and character are you know alphabet, something like them. Okay. And all the special symbols are also included in character. That means if you uh, use a asterisk, if you use a uh, dollar icon, if you use a hashtag icon, they are uh, all symbols and they are included in character. And all type of whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, they are included in integer. And any type of uh, fractional forms like uh, exponentiation or anything else like uh, uh, 0 0.2, 1.5, 1.3 and 1.2, li like this type of uh, digits are called float. So, uh, to indicate this type of data types, we use some kinds of uh, format specifiers to indicate that this is the integer or this is the float. It means uh, the by form by using format specifiers, the program understands is it a integer, is it a float, or is it a character. So, we will learn uh, many things today. Learn a lot of things today. Uh, at first, we will learn uh, how to declare your variables and how to assign them and uh, nextly we will talk about uh, how to take an input from the users so we don't want to let uh, I'm opening my code blocks ID okay uh, here is my code blocks ID and you know the basic syntax uh, you need to open your new page so I'm control shift and n this uh, opens a new page from me and I am just uh, open opening my C editor okay that's why I am uh, just pressing control and H now it's my C editor so we need to uh, include our basic syntax here so I am just uh, firstly I am only including my standard input output header file so just uh, you see here I have typed already and now we need to add a main function we have already talked them have talked about them before now we need a brace and now today is the uh, new new part we don't need to type today uh, we don't want to show any output uh, any string output uh, that means uh, we have already uh, done them uh, because in my last video uh, we have also typed your name that means your name my name and time is tech you know i'm uh, just kidding okay now we will at first declare a variable okay how a variable is declared at first uh, i have told you that uh, there are data types uh, we need data types to declare a variable that means uh, if i want to suppose you want to uh, show a digit a whole number okay so you need the integer data type that means uh, you need an integer data type so i'm just uh, press uh, typing integer okay here you see i have typed integer and it is now in blue color that means uh, it is the right syntax okay so i have the just typed integer now you need a variable to store you need a variable to store the your whole number store your whole number so suppose um, here i am using a okay i will store your my variable into a okay so i have this is the ending line uh, so i am just uh, uh, pressing uh, my semicolon key then just uh, click on enter and now i need to store okay i need to store uh, whole number here because it is an integer and I need to store a whole number so I'm just uh, click on a 
and using a assignment operator uh, from today you won't uh, say this is a this is an equal you won't say it is not an equal in c program in arithmetic uh, it is a uh, is equal to but uh, in C program, it is an assignment operator. We will talk about operator later in our next uh, series of videos. So, I need to assign something here. Like, I want to assign 6. Okay. Here you see, I have assigned A is equal to 6. Now, I am just uh, pressing a semicolon. Now, uh, we have uh, in the first line, in the number line number 4, in the line number 4, um, I have declared I have declared my variable which is an integer variable and in number 5 I have assigned my variable which is a is equal to 6 now I need to show it I need to give uh, give a output to user uh, so I need to use a print a function we have already talked about it before and we need to give a quotation here and now we need to show it okay the result is we can uh, use uh, sentence the result is sorry the result is now uh, if you just press a that means if you uh, write it the, that the result is a okay uh, I, I suppose you write this one and put a semicolon and uh, doing your basic stuff return 0 and now build a program okay the Here I'm just uh, giving it name, which is uh, which can be anything else uh, like uh, assigning and declare. Okay, it will take some time. Okay, now you see the run icon. So I'm just clicking on run. Here you see, uh, you have typed that the result is a. Okay, I have typed it, but I have already uh, told that a is equal to 6. So, why isn't uh, 6 here? Why it is a? You maybe have questions. But, uh, you know, the program don't know. Uh, you have declared a is equal to 6 here. You have assigned, sorry, you have assigned a is equal to 6 here. The program doesn't know that uh, it will also uh, print 6 here. It doesn't know because it is a program. So you need to assign everything. You need to assign everything, and you, you want to uh, indicate everything here. So what will be the out? Um, what will be the program to show the output? The program now we need a format specifier. I have told you. Sorry, I didn't have told you. And uh, I, I am uh, making a common line. Now, for integer, we need percent d. Okay. For integer, we need percent %d, for float, we need percent %f, and for character, we need percent %c. Now, this percent %d, d, this percent %d, uh, it is a format specifier, this percent %f, it is also a format specifier, and this percent %c, it is also a format specifier. And uh, this percent D refers to integer format specifier, percent F refers to float, and percent C refers to character. Now, if I want to show it, then I will just type percent D. Okay, percent D. And for, for which variable I am using percent D, you need to also de declare that. So I am just using a comma here and it is the basic syntax, just press, use a comma and give your variable name. That means I am using percent %d integer format specifier for a. That means percent %d is for variable a. Now if you build the program again and run it, then you see the result is 6. The result is 6. Here you see par, uh, instead of percent %d it is typing 6 okay it's showing 6 this is the basic okay so now if you uh, use a float if you use a float variable like this one float I am using float B and I am assigning B is equal to 
uh, something like 7.5 and I'm uh, typing another line just control C and control D okay now if I do this I haven't changed my person D okay so I don't I don't want to change it let's see what happens uh, run here you see the result is 6 and the result is 6 for the first 9 number line the result is 6 it is okay but you have used person D and A uh, it is the result 6 but I want to show B now if I wa only change this uh, but not this one uh, if I don't change the format specified if I remain uh, if I want to state person D and enter that now if I run this program what happens here you see the result is 6 the first one is correct but result is 0 that means uh, b is b is a float number but you have used the uh, person d which is a for, for integer format specifier so it won't work but if i change it to percent f and now run the program here you see the result is percent uh, 6 and the result is 7.5 something big zero okay <laughs> now uh, you are right, uh, now you see that uh, I have type B is equal to 7.5 and now the result is also the same. But there are a lot of zero, so what can you do then? You can just uh, do a little thing that person dot 2f, uh, it is the called P session, okay. Person dot 2f, uh, they, this 2 means a P session, how, how many zero there will be after the dot okay after the point how many zero there will be like this uh, if i want to do this on and now see 7.50 there are only two position okay there are only two position two digit now if i uh, change it to percent dot 4 f and run it you see now one two three four there are four positions this is the way it works okay now if i change the integer a is equal to 6.6 .6 and I want to uh, change it to a float number like 6.2 and build it again and run it here you see the result is 6 okay that means the, uh, int because it is an integer data a is the integer data type so it just give up the uh, part of point okay so it just give up the part of point uh, that's why it is the whole number okay the result is 6, it, it isn't showing 6.2. So I'm just uh, uh, going to my back and now building it again. So everything is okay now. Now I have also already talked that we will also learn some scanf functions. Uh, sorry, yes, not scanf, uh, uh, it's about input. Okay, um, you know, to give an output, we use printf function, it is a standard library function, and now can be questioned if I want to give a take an input from user what will be the library function okay it's very simple the library function will be scanf scanf is for taking input giving you the cheat sheet so you don't need to memorize them uh, when watching the video you can memorize them with the PDF okay so just uh, we back to our topic now if you think that print of the result is percent dot 4f and it's already okay so i will talk about scanf function now now if we have already assigned this uh, in the in build program okay this all are built in but i want to take a uh, input from the user so what how i can do that uh, i think uh, i will take uh, another uh, taken another variable uh, like c I've taken an another variable and now I am printing an output to show uh, something like this. I need to uh, prompt the user to give me output. So I'm just uh, prompting my user give me a output. Okay. Give me output and now if you build this one and click on run here you see give me output but it's not asking for me to give the output okay it's not asking me so how you can ask the ask the user 
by using the print function like this one scan f and quotation percent as it is a uh, we will store the input in c and c is a uh, integer so i am just percent d and now you will learn another thing m percent m percent uh, in c program m percent is equal to at the address of operator address of operator okay at m percent is equal to at the address of operator at the address of operator means uh, it will store your value to that variable which you will indicate here if i am just uh, typing c that means uh, the value which you the user will give it will store in c in c variable now just build a program and sorry uh, you need to give a semicolon here and now if you build it now here you see uh, the command line is asking me for a output okay the command line is asking me for a output now if i give a output 5 and then the other printf are showing okay then the other printf are showing uh, after giving the scan a function because c is a procedural language and it will do everything one by one okay at first uh, it shows this one and then you uh, it asks for the input and these are the program parts it don't show or <laughs> it don't show or give input then the printf works and then this printf works it is the procedure uh, you are seeing right now and now you see the process is returned but one thing you can ask me that uh, i have the user gave me an out input but i didn't show it so how i can show it i can show it uh, easily by using the printf function and the input is input was was you need to use a person d and which for which variable you are showing this of course for c because you stored your variable at c so just press a comma and press c okay now if you build a program again now just run give me a you out output 6 and you see the result is 6 the result is 7.5 and the input is 6 okay if you run the program again and I am typing 987777 something more and now you see the result is 6 the result is 7.5 the input is 98 something like that okay now it works right it works now so that's the thing okay L like this one uh, there are only three data types integer float and character we will talk about character later because character is a uh, big uh, part because there are is strings there are sentences and many things so we will discuss about character later we already discussed about integer and float how integer works and how a float works okay but we have just show us uh, uh, show them just uh, how to show a uh, variable how to store a variable how sorry how to declare a variable how to assign a variable how to uh, store a something uh, into your variable and how to give the output and also we have also learned today how to give a input so that's all for today uh, in the next video we'll come with another new uh, section so for the time stay happy stay cool stay with entertainment daily see